To bring our Viper Manor joyride to a tense climax, we have the first fight with Lynx. Kid not included. <laughs> Truth be told, I was dreading this fight. In my original run, this took me eight attempts to get right, partially due to the strict timing involved, and partially due to Lynx's tendency to bum-rush Surge in the first ten seconds. I was prepared for the worst, but as it turns out, Lynx cooperated beautifully here, and I took him out on the first try. So it goes. Lynx's AI is easily the most intricate of any enemy thus far. Unfortunately for him, that exact trait is what makes him exploitable. With careful timing and a very specific setup, you can goad him into debuffing you instead of just attacking. That doesn't make this fight easy, though. Not even close. Your pattern is simple, but strict, and if you mess up, Lynx will almost undoubtedly beeline to Surge and take him down, or heal himself and exhaust your element grid. So here's how it goes. Whenever Lynx is hit with a white attack element, he'll counter with anti-white when he gets his turn. Attack him with any other element, and he'll counter with Imbecile in a similar fashion. With this pattern in mind, you can space out three white elements and three other elements, and lock him into a string of debuffs by firing them off one at a time. The problem is, he knows when you do this. He'll only follow this pattern six times, and the sixth time you do it, he might counter either with Graviton or Hell Soul, and he seems to do that more often when Kid's in the party. The other problem this strategy presents is the fact that Link's elemental defense is solid for this point in the game, meaning whatever elements you throw at him probably won't put much of a dent in his 820 HP. That brings you to the real challenge of this fight. In order to take him down within six turns, you need to play a high-stakes game of chicken with Lynx by getting pot shots in with Surge when you can, and making sure to fire off each element in your sequence before he gets a turn. It also doesn't help that with six of your element slots taken up to keep him in the pattern, you only have three left for healing and buffs. This further solidifies that you have little room to screw up, especially if Surge gets knocked out. The stakes only increase from here. Keeping Lynx in the pattern as long as you can is vital. The reason I spaced everyone's elements out was to eke out as much damage as I could by avoiding using an element on an already imbeciled character. Spreading his anti-whites out is also important, even though they have a tendency to miss, since you might need to pop a recover all or revive out of nowhere if he unleashes a particularly deadly physical combo. After that lengthy explanation, there's not much else I have to say, except for don't do what I just did. I ended up wasting my 6 element trying to kill him early and put myself on a timer. If you let him break from the cycle while he's low on HP, he'll pop a Nostrum on himself and get 200 HP back. You really don't want that to happen, especially when you have a chance to miss like I just did, because RNG Jesus hates me and probably you too. Fortunately, things worked out for me here, but when risks like that aren't necessary, it's really best not to take them. Whew. That was a mouthful. Thankfully, the next area will give me a nice change of scenery. Stay tuned for a double header with the fakest pirate to sail the seas and his stereotypical avian companion. After that lengthy. Oh. I was going so well, too! I almost had it in one take! Ugh!